Hey guys, I am back for another Plantzilla video and today's vlog is feeding time. So magfi-fertilize kami ng plants namin kasi a lot of plants here really love the fertilizer that we are using and I can really attest to that. But before we head on to the video, nagpapasalamat ako na for the past two days, favorable yung weather dito sa amin. So hindi na masyadong mainit and medyo merong konting drizzles guys. So the plants are really loving it. And ika-clarify ko lang na yung previous video in which nakita nyo yung epekto ng tag-init dito sa amin, yung philodendron moonlight po is hindi talaga nakakover ng net. Mga around 10 a.m. guys, sobrang init na dito sa amin. And since nakalagay siya sa entrance, talagang na-expose siya sa araw. Kaya naman, sunog na sunog siya kahit maaga pa. And this silver sword that we have here is doing well guys. Buti na lang yung mga dahon na nasa baba yung nag yellow So that means nagsished lang siya ng mga old leaves and magpapalit siya ng mga bago. Yung problema kapag nasa taas or part ng mga new leaves yung nag yellow na guys, there is something wrong with that. Alright, since I have told you ever since this video started that we will be fertilizing our plants, papakita ko lang sa inyo yung mga plants namin na nakapag-try na sa fertilizer na ginagamit namin, guys. So, we have the Bilite. Dwarf daw yan, guys. Pero ngayon, lumalaki na yung dahon. I'm just so proud of that. We also have our giant moonlight, guys. And this one is different from that moonlight that I have showed you on our previous video. Kasi ito, mas makapal siya. So, yun, guys, talaga namang understandable na na susunog ka agad kasi sobrang nipas ng dahon na yon and hindi talaga dapat ine-expose sa sobrang init ng araw. So we have here our philodendron black cardinal so wala pa ding one year to sa amin guys. Meron kaming dalawa so yung isa yung napalaki namin from a sprout lang talaga. So ngayon guys they are both big na and I'm so glad to tell you na epekto ng fertilizer yung paganda ng mga dahon nila. Pero wala po kaming pinopromote na brand Random lang talaga na nakita ko sa Shopee tapos na-order ko siya and then nung tinry namin dito, of course hindi agad-agad nakikita yung resulta guys but after quite some time na nagamit namin siya kasi hindi po kami palaging naglalagay, nakikita talaga tong epekto kasi hindi po ganito yung mga dahon ng plants na meron kami before. Sinishare ko lang siya sa inyo since it is working well on our garden and baka din mag-work sa inyo kapag tinry nyo. Pero guys, alam naman natin yung kalaban. Anything in excess is not good so wag pa sobrahan. May link sa baba, pwede nyo i-click para direkta na kayo sa shop. Pero hindi po kami, yung may-ari ng shop and hindi po kami, endorser nila, hindi po kami nagpo-promote. It's just that we found their product effective so we are sharing it with all of you. Given na pare-pareho naman talaga yung pating media na gamit namin sa plants, it could be a factor but sobrang laking tulong ng fertilizer na gamit namin. It's been a while guys since the last time na naglagay kami ng fertilizer dito sa mga plants namin, especially these type of philodendrons that we have here. Talagang hinintay namin na mag-work yung last na nilagay namin and since we really love the result, I think it's time to reapply. Direct application po yung gagawin namin today. So, dito mismo kami sa pot maglalagay and we did not dilute it with water. But if you are comfortable using it with water, then go ahead. Tunawin lang ng mabuti and wag i-apply directly sa dahon kasi baka masunog yung dahon, guys. For now, guys, he is prepping the potting media. Kasi nga, yung iba dito, medyo matagal-tagal na since the last time na naripat. Meron na ngang tinutubuan ng damo. Just like this bilite that we have here. Alam nyo, guys, talagang yung sinabi sa akin before, dwarf to. Pero ngayon, lumalaki yung dahon. So, who is the dwarf one? For those who are asking kung ano ba yung ratio, kung gusto mo siyang i-dilute sa water, then we have a separate video for that. Baka ilagay ko na lang yung link dito since hindi naman yun yung gamit namin. Mas maganda yung video na yun kasi napakita talaga namin kung paano namin siya minix, which is different from this one na i-apply lang namin directly dito. So, nandun yung tamang suka, tamang ratio guys. Check that video.
This giant moonlight guys, binigay lang din to sa amin and di ko akalain na mapapalaki namin siya ng ganito. It hasn't been that long since nakuha namin to guys and sobrang nagpapasalamat kami to Ma'am Bebeng Bungay for giving this to us kasi parang pa-birthday niya to kay Gerald. So eto na ma'am and we are really taking good care of this one. And for those who are waiting for the comparison of two black cardinals, guys, yung locally grown and yung imported, konting push na lang kasi malalaki na sila. And I'm so excited to share that with you kasi compare na natin finally. So hindi na basta yung mga maliliit pa. Now they're both grown up. So, this is the fertilizer, guys, that I got from Shopee. Wala siyang brand. Basta 14, 14, 14 fertilizer siya. Sobrang mura ng ganun. Yung iba nga mabibili mo sa AgriVet by kilo. Pero eto, guys, konti lang yung nabili ko. Basta less than 50 pesos, less than 30. Mga around that price lang. So, super affordable and swak sa budget. Eto guys, wala talaga siyang brand and tipid na tipid pa kasi konting-konti lang naman yung dami ng pellets na ilalagay mo sa bawat pot. Eto yung itsura o, oh, hindi pa sila magkakatulad ng size. Yung mga bilog-bilog, mukha silang patuka ng manok. And as much as possible, we are really trying to place it somewhere na hindi masyadong dikit sa stem or sa petiole ng mga plants na meron kami. I have seen fertilizers na ganito yung itsura pero yun yata yung slow release na hindi talaga nagmi-melt even if ilang months na yung nakakaraan. Marami akong mga napapansin na ganyan lalo na dun sa mga plants na imported guys pero this one guys doesn't take that long to melt kasi parang ilang days lang pag nilagay mo siya after mo siyang i-apply parang malambot na siya and then a few days after wala na siya so nagmelt na siya and kasama na siya ng potting media. That's why nag-work siguro ng mabilis and mabilis makita yung epekto niya sa mga plants unlike din sa mga slow release na it will really take some time kasi according to one gardener who told us na parang pag nababasa siya doon na siya unti-unting nagre-release ng fertilizer but it will really take a while bago talaga siya totally mag-melt or maubos. Napapansin ko siya sa mga galing Thailand kapag nireripat namin sila dito ang dami pang ganito guys na hindi pa nagme-melt. Even dito sa Bilitay na to and on some of our aglonemas guys, nung niripat namin sila after a few months, andun pa din yung fertilizer, hindi pa din totally nagmi-melt. So, that means hindi pa din nila nare-release lahat ng nutrients na kaya nilang ibigay sa plants. Ayaw kong maghintay ng ganun katagal kasi parang nagmamadali ako, mas gusto kong nakikita lumalaki sila ng mabilis, kumaganda yung dako nila. So, dito ako sa nakikita ko kaagad yung resulta. Basta wag lang pasobrahan, at least twice a month. Eto kasi parang ilang months na din since the last time. Kaya naman if gusto nyong makita yung resulta, wag nyo munang lagyan. So hayaan nyo munang mag-work yung fertilizer till you can see the effect. So pag gusto mo yung effect, then go ahead and maglagay ka ulit. Pero pag hindi, pag medyo natuyo yung tips ng mga dahon ng plants nyo, medyo nag-yellow, nag-dry, parang nasusunog, na over fertilize yung plants nyo. Do not worry, it's easy to fix naman, pero hindi na mare-restore yung dahon na nasira. Bumawi ka na lang sa mga bagong dahon na lang labas soon. Meron ngang nagtanong if yung isang Birkin na meron kami dito, giant ba daw? Pero wala po akong naririnig na merong giant Birkin. Talagang medyo lumaki siya. And etong mga Birkins na to that we have here, mga babies na po sila. So we have few babies here. And yung isa, malaking malaki na talaga. Hindi po siya giant. I don't think there is a giant Birkin. Wala pa akong naririnig na ganun. Pero yung hinihintay ko is mag-variegate ng kulay pink ang Birkin. Share your thoughts, comments, and experiences experiences sa comment section down below. Pero sana naman, pag nag-comment, huwag nang mang-away, okay? Let's have positive lives. So, remove all the negativities kasi ayoko yun. That's the least that I want during these times. Ngayon kong napansin, ang ganda na dun pala ng Berkey na to. Look at the smallest leaf, guys. Andyan pa. And meron na siyang madaming malalaki. This one is the Green Diamond. Or hindi ko na masabi kung tama ba. Is it a green diamond or the white Congo? Meron kaming white Congo dito guys na wala ka na talagang makikitang white. Talagang mukha ng green diamond. And I know in the future they will eventually turn into green Congo. Basta yun na lang. Kung ano yung magiging itsura nila pagdating ng panahon, I will still accept it and I will love them more. 
anyway, for those of you who are interested to get the products na nakita namin sa Shopee na maaaring makatulong ng malaki sa gardening journey nyo, don't hesitate to click the link down below para madirect kayo sa shop and maka-order din kayo. May it be the pruning shears, yung hose na gamit namin dito sa garden, yung molasses as your root booster, yung mga vitamins ng plants, nandon sa link na yun, guys. And about the net, meron nga palang nag-comment na pwede din kaming gumamit ng black net kasi mas maganda siya. Okay lang din naman yung green net, guys. Mas okay siya, iwas po siya sa lamok. And of course, I really love the way it provides light to our plants here na kahit nasa loob siya ng parang isang malaking rec tanggol, still maliwanag pa din and it is serving its purpose well naman. Hindi po nasusunog yung mga plants na under ng net na to. Yung nasunog lang talaga is yung moonlight na nasa labas. Kasi naatatamaan siya ng araw, especially around 10 a.m. Kasi yung araw naman talaga is paiba-iba ng direction during the day. So that is it. So if gusto niyong i-check yung net, may it be the black one or the green one, both are buy one take one guys. So nandun din po sa link, pwede niyong i-check out. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for making it till the end. It has been Maria, the voice of Planzilla Buhal. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Pakitap na din po yung bell icon so you'll be notified pag may bago kaming video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!